Alrighty guys, let's go resume. Yeah. This was last night. So, let's go. Hi, Broski. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? All about reading. Alright. <laughs> I brought my best tea today. Monica. I told you not to... Uh? Is she really late again? Oh boy. Inconsiderate as usual, Nasuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular regular basis or something. I just wanted to I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously. What's gotten into you lately? Me? Mm, nothing. Is it really that bad? See? It is something. I'll get over it. It's not even anything noteworthy. I've just been well, feeling a little on edge lately. A a anyway, we didn't need to talk about it. Well, I just felt like I needed to bring it up. It's not like I really care or anything. Aw, oh, man. I'm the last one here, here again. Well, Broski just wanted it. Just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. Ah ha You must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. I do want to listen to um, Monica's piano. Like how, how she plays it. I don't like I did hear the ending song though. Of her uh, piano uh, video or something. From uh, YouTube. But I think I spoiled for that. Just hear the song. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival and... Um... Right. I, I forgot. Um, about that, Natsuki. We were all talking yesterday and... Well, we decided that we would like to support the festival as well. However... I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to change. I think we all kind of feel that way. So as long as we're all work together, this club will never become something we don't want. Um, also, if you help us out with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. Heh, <laughs> nice. Ah, she's smiling. Way to go, Nowski. Okay. Sorry, that last part was really funny. Look, I did something, uh... I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt, as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. But more importantly, I would hate to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know. So I'm gonna help too, and we'll make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Oh, there she added again, guys. Oh, <laughs> There she is. Ah. Yeah, that's wonderful. It wouldn't be the same without you, Noski. Anyway, Broski. What do you want to do today? Oh, you know what I'm gonna say, just in case. You never know. I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Ah. Is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Broski is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad that I've already got him into literature, Monica? I... I suppose. I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes! Oh, what the... <laughs> The heck? Uh, I see her eyes right there. Yuri's eyes look like... Freak out like that. The heck? Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself, as well. 
Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow in and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contra contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and metho methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Ah, I might as well walk with you. Ew, that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Ah, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for a misunderstanding. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? Hold on, guys. Has some suspicions right there. What? You know, like uh, last night when uh, Monica mentioned about nice. Could she be like uh, cutting herself or something? <laughs> I'm guessing. I hope not. Hope it's not like that right now. Something holding her up? I'm bored, just waiting here. So I decided. I decided to go look for. Her. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. Start heading down the hallway. Ha ah, ah. ha. Ah, ha ah. ha. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. A sharp inhale. Like that. Or <laughs> I'm about exam doing an example right now, but yeah. I guess. I mean, in a way. I start to inhale, like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and, and peer around it. Yuri! Oh, shoot! Oh my god! Oh, crap! Oh no. Cap! Oh, I can't read that fast. I, 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 let's see, I'll just put it. I can't read that fast. The heck? Oh my god. Yuri! Oh sh! The heck? Um. Wait. How did I? Sorry, I just had a really weird deja vu. This hasn't happened before or anything, right? My head has been a little fuzzy lately. I hope it hasn't really been showing or anything. I would hate for you to think I'm weird just after we started spending time together. I mean. Everyone has a few unusual things about them, but expressing those things uh, so soon after meeting someone is usually seen as inappropriate or unlikable. At least, that's what I've discovered. When I was a bit younger, I was a bit younger. I think I would come on really strongly and get a little too intense. It made people not want to be around me. So I started hating those things about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies. Dang, you know, Larry, I saw it. Man, I, she, she did cut herself. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's scary. Man, Yuri. Why? In a way, I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So, I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody could ever like me for the things that matter most to me, then it's just easier if I close myself off. But recently, something's been wrong. I don't know what it is. But every time we come to the club, my heart starts to go crazy. Like it's going to rip all out of my chest. It's over. It overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't let out. It's been making me do weird things. I don't know why it's happening. Broski. Is it just me, or has Monica been acting a little off lately? Yeah, Monica. She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club. 
But recently, I've been feeling something sharper whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? Oh, shoot. Please tell me I'm not. Oh, dang, look at her eyes. I couldn't say anything before because she's always listening. But finally, we're alone. Oh, dang. Oh, man. <laughs> Can we just stay here for a while? Yeah. Huh? I just want to stay here. Just the two of us. We can stay here uh, until the club ends. And then we'll have the club room all to ourselves. Oh, dear your eyes. Oh, nobody to interfere with our reading time. Oh, mine. No way to make me feel like stabbing myself. Oh, wait, wait, what? My throat in the throat. Ah. Oh, I see Monica. That was a joke. Just a joke. And I can see Monica in the background. I do like knives, though. What? Wait, why is she acting like this? Why is Yuri? Why? It sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand if you've never seen how beautiful they can be. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? I can show you my collection. Wait, that collection? You see me? I've gotten them all from various artisans. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I make sure to give them all, them all their fair share of use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Man, it's like so distracting. I am like looking. Nobody. I might really make eye contact like a milliseconds every time. And that's why I'm so happy you joined the Leader Club, Borsky. Now we don't need to be lonely anymore. Because we have each other. Every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the Leader Club. Oh boy. Yeah, it's like a Monica is like a shell like more period. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Not to mention that other pathetic child. Oh! Oh no. We can walk home together every day after school. And read together. Eat together. And sleep together. Man, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna be like a uh, jump scare, guys. Doesn't that sound perfect? It's everything we could ever want. Isn't that why you joined the lures? Joined the club in the first place? I can't really read it. Oh, crap. In the first place, it's almost like it was fate. Fate that would meet each other. And now we get. The happy ending that I patiently waited years for. Will you do that with me, Broski? You got it. Okay. Well, ah, I can't read that. What? Oh no. What the? The heck? <laughs> what? What was that about? All right. I guess I'm gonna go with Yuri. Finally! Ah <laughs> Yuri holds my palm to her face and takes a deep breath. Yeah, Monica's behind it, guys. I love it. I love everything about it. Broski, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I don't care. Ah ha <laughs> You're too nice to me, Broski. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. No, not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my palm her to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. What the? <laughs> I'll give myself paper cuts. So, oh my god, I can't believe it. So your skin oil enters my blood. What the? Whoa, what the heck? Oh man, I didn't know much about the, this game, but yikes. Ah, you can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. Oh, 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 oh my god! What the heck? Holy crap! Oh my god. Oh man. This is <laughs> not just a literature uh, game, guys. It's something. Man, these ones I don't know. What the heck? 
Oh, do you like it? Oh, shoot, her eyes. I wrote it for you. Oh, crap. In case you couldn't tell the poems about. Huh? I, I can't remember. I don't know what that is. More importantly, I've endowed it with my son. See? Aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? Maybe I should have picked Yuri? I don't know. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, what the? Ah. What? Oh, shoot. I. I think I'm um, going to wait. Vomit? Oh, oh no! Oh boy! I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with Natsuki. What? He gave your poem to Yuri. Girls, what is with you? What is with you two? Hmm. It's not like I. Wanted to read it anyway. It just pissed me off a little bit that you didn't even think to show me at all. Uh, okay. I guess I'm going to share my poem with you anyway. I really hate that I have to do this. But, unfortunately, I don't have much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? Then you can go away. Okay, so it's not. <laughs> Man, like, uh, yours? Like, what the heck? My goodness. <laughs> I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. So I'm gonna read, guys, because. Man, last night I was so tired from biking, so. I'm not tired right now, so. More well made to read right now, guys, so here we go. But there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but. She's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist? I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so hopeless. So please, see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you a if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, as for Monica, I don't know why. But she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. So, uh, yeah. So, like, uh, not just a poem, just like, uh, like a message or something. Huh, okay. Alright, Natsuki. I changed my mind. Oh, what the? What happened to her face? Ignore everything you just read. What the? There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, broski? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. I ha This has to be Monica's doing, guys. Yuri and I are too messy. Yeah, see? Yeah. I guess I was right. I mean, my guess. Because like, seeing Yuri and I... So yeah, uh, Yuri and then Natsuki. So like, uh, I feel like Monica is controlling Natsuki. Is she? Yeah, it looks like it. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Oh boy. Just Monica. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know that. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Okay. Just Monica. Oh, I have no choice. I have to click it anyways. 